If you're looking for a deluxe hotel for your next Disney World stay, look no further than the DVC property Villas at Grand Floridian. You'll have access to monorail, watercraft, and early entrance and some late days to the parks. Now, this particular room is located on the third floor down this extended hallway here. One of the benefits of this room is you only have people on one side of you. The other side is the staircase. So join me as we take a look at this deluxe studio. Here we are starting the tour of the Disney Grand Floridian Villas Deluxe Studio. Been a lot of updates since I've last been here a decade ago. So I'm gonna walk you through, show you what's changed, see things that I like, things I didn't like for this room. Over to the left of the door, you have your adjacent door. So if you are sharing with somebody, they could be on the other side. If not, if you're like me, put your bag in front of there, keep people out just in case. Coming over to our door, you have your instructions. Here you can see where we are currently located and some nice artwork right there by the wall. If we come over here, you can see that is our bathroom. One of the biggest changes that has been made is they no longer have the TV in them, but the bathroom itself overall has stayed very similar. You have one sink, but lots of space to work with. There's a shelf on top there, as well as shelving there. And down here, you've got your garbage and extra towels. If we come in a little closer over to the left, you've got your shaving mirror. Over to the right, we have some of our products. Over to the right, you have your large standing shower with a bench that is real tile work in there because I like to do that and no wallpaper in sight, which I also greatly appreciate. There are your body products right there, as well as you have a detachable handheld hose and a large rain shower shower head. And you'd see a little accent lighting in the shower if you needed more light. Coming around, this room is broken up into two separate areas. You've got your shower and sink, and then you have your latrine and tub. All are separated by these pocket doors right here. So you can segregate yourself from one side of the shower to the other, or if we come around here, pocket door, grab that, I can shut that door. Both have doors that can segment off. So this makes it one of the more versatile bathroom spaces here on Disney property. Here we have our loo, and it is an elongated bowl. Greatly appreciate that. We're gonna come over to our tub, give you an idea of what the hardware looks like. There you go. We're gonna come up and up and up, and there is your shower head. And if I swing over this way, there are your products, as well as right there, you have your clothesline. Straight across, help dry things out. Coming back around and out, if I come up this way, there is a motion sensing exhaust, so you don't have to turn it on. It turns itself on, you don't have to worry about it. If we swing down and around, right across from the bathroom itself is our closet. If we come over to the closet, nice sturdy heavy doors, we're gonna open this up. And in here we can see we've got plenty of closet space. They do give you two robes, which is a nice thing. There was a luggage stay, which you saw when I showed you where my luggage was sitting. There is a safe right here. It's okay, but if you see how deep that is and when you shut it, you're not gonna get large pieces of electronic equipment. You can probably throw money and some small valuables in there. Right here we have our iron. There are some extra blankets and pillows. Here is our ironing board over here and then lots of shelving. I brought extra things because, well, I thought I was gonna be driving through a snowstorm. Didn't, but I have extra battery packs and a place to put them, which is really nice. And if we continue moving on towards the living area, we come over, we have our little kitchenette right here. We have our freezer and fridge combo, so right there, decent size freezer and refrigerator. Also very nice size compared to what you might see other places. If we come back up here, kind of show you around, we've got a toaster, coffee accoutrement, a Keurig, a small little sink, as well as some paper towels and dishcloth coming up. Well, here we go. We've got actual cups, so not paper, glass, ceramic. There's some paper in the back, but they put the good stuff up. And if we come up here, there's your ice bucket and a wine opener, because you know, as you do on vacation, 
Here we have a microwave, which is a great treat that a lot of other hotels seem to be getting rid of, so I'm very appreciative that that's here. And then if we come up here, you just have some extra storage space. We'll close that and come down past our sink, because guess what? We've got extra storage, you've got garbage, paper towels, and more things to do dishes with. We'll close that up and swing around to the opposite side. You have a full length mirror right here in case you need to check yourself before going out into the parks. Coming into the bedroom area, this is where a lot of things have changed since my last visit here. First being the bed frame itself. You'll notice has been updated. Headboard has been changed. The frame down here has also. They've got a little stowaway area right here so you can hide your stuff if you want to. And if I come around to this side, you actually have some more drawers because if we come over to this, this was originally here when I came a decade ago, this is a trundle bed. So if you have a small child, you can simply open this up, plop them down there, their own sleeping arrangements. And right there you can see you've got some Dumbo in the background right there. Coming up, you have a very large TV, very nice for the size of the room. If we come under the TV right here, you've got empty space, but you can see kind of <laughs> that's how you get uh, your TV. But if we come over to the what used to be a locked side, oh, there's nothing there either. Okay, I had seen other reviewers that uh, said that there was a DVD Blu-ray or combo in there. Guess that is not there, but chances are you don't need it because you're spending your time at the parks. Swinging back around to our bed, you'll notice that either side of the bed has lighting. The controls for your lighting are over here on the left. There's a telephone and this room comes equipped with a Alex A device for Disney. If you wanna turn it off by default, it is muted, but if you don't want that screen on, you will have to unplug it. If you're looking for power usage on this side alone, if we move this, you see a USB-A and two power adapters. And then further down, you've got some more storage. I always forget to talk about this, but right there, that is your motion sensing thermostat. So hopefully with its proximity to the bed, it will not be a problem, but we'll find out after staying here. This is the other new addition to this room. And that is the Murphy bed instead of a pullout bed, which is rather nice and easy to operate. Let me show you what that looks like now. Here in the not so easy to film open position from the corner that I'm in is the Murphy bed itself. You can see it is, I'm gonna say probably a double or at least a queen size. It looks very comfortable. My mother-in-law will be sleeping on this in her separate room across the hall. So we'll let you know at the end how this was for her. And if we pan up right there, there is a light switch that turns on an accent light right there for this mural. And if you are a Disney fan, you can play Pick the People. So we've got Bert the Chimney Sweep, Mary Poppins Umbrella, probably Mary Poppins. There's the kite right over there. And if we come up, you've got Big Ben and then probably what is the Neverland pirate ship kind of built into the fresco right there. So that does look really cool at night. So if you have all the lights off, you can stare at that, keep the children entertained for hours. Speaking of other little tidbits, if we come over here and look at the corner of our porch, there is a little hidden Mickey built right in. So after our Murphy bed, we've got two little tables that you can put stuff on. We're gonna come work our way over here and show you place to sit, do some work. Right there, there's another mirror for you, as well as some lighting. And then out this way is the deck. And this is the view that you get from here. So let's actually take a look outside and show you what you're looking at. Exiting to the deck on the Grand Floridium, you've got nice double pane, very solid windows, which is going to be helpful with the view from this room. Locking mechanism, really easy. Down and turn, and then slide. The door itself is extraordinarily heavy. You get two iron rung chairs and a fake wood deck with aluminum. It's it's actually a nice size, as you can see. I'm I'm walking, and this is actually quite a quite a few steps. It's pretty good. But if we come over here, we can actually see the view from here. That is the Grand Floridian proper, and that is the monorail station for the Grand Floridian. You're gonna have monorails that come very, and I mean very 
close to your room to the tune of when I was in here starting my filming there's a monorail that stopped here and I was waving at people and they were waving back so uh, just make sure you keep your curtain shut speaking of curtains you do have two you have these lace ones and then blackout curtains which are rather nice so let's go back inside and finish things up so we will be staying here for a week let you know the things that I liked about the room, things I didn't like about the room, let you know if the location to the monorail is going to be a problem or not. But I always like the touches that the Grand Floridian gives you. Look at that. Fan over the bed, as well as crown molding. Little touches like that are what separate this hotel room from others on site. Now, I will admit, I did stay at the Wilderness Lodge many years ago too, reviewer there in the corner, and I'm more accustomed to that style, but I'm not going to lie, the Grand Floridian is a nice hotel even if you think it's too opulent. It's opulent while still being comfortable. Let's jump to the future and see how our stay was. And here we are a week later. Talk about things we liked, things we didn't like. Uh, I'll point out over here, the Murphy bed. Didn't sleep on it overnight, but did use that as our napping area. Very comfortable mother-in-law staying across the hall here. Slept on it every night, loved it, said it was more comfortable than the pull-out couches that they used to have here. And notice the height of the regular bed. The Murphy bed is slightly lower, so if you have somebody who can't transition to the higher bed, Murphy bed might be way to, the way to go. Do have to move these out of the way if you're gonna drop the Murphy bed, not a big deal. Coming over to what I had been concerned about, which was the monorail track right there. So one, monorail, you do kind of here, but the glass is thick enough that you don't really hear it very much. night if you have a fan or a white noise machine you won't hear it at all so if you don't mind sacrificing the view of the pool or the fountain over that away or you have somebody who likes monorails this room very good for that you can sit out here and watch them go by all day or when they park right here because things are slow excellent room for that curtains were good lighting in the room also good use that threw a lot of stuff on that that was nice Bed, very comfortable, very comfortable. I'm very particular, so is my wife. Super soft, great at the end of the day. Over here, this is where we start getting into some of the things I wish were done better. You know, In this area, light switch for the lights above the bed. Wish those were a little closer. The My Disney Experience version of the Amazon Echo Show there, it is off by default, and what I mean by off is it is muted by default, but even with the screen dimming overnight, it was still a little too bright for me, so I really just unplugged it. If you used an Echo device before, it's very similar. It can do specific things. There's pretty much a Disney app built into it and then the housing around there uh, to make it the Disney version of the Amazon Echo. Here you can see there are some of the commands that you can run with it. I have Echo devices at my house. It's useful in some cases if you just wanna say, hey, blah, 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 what's the temperature or something like that. But for those of you who don't like devices like that, just unplug it in the back and then when you're ready to go, plug it back in because that's what we did. So bed good. Over here, trundle bed. Didn't use it, nice option that it's there. TV, I did forget to mention that it does pivot so you can sit over on the couch and see it from the bed, just moving things around. So that was great. Coming over to our thermostat, I just want to make sure that you remember that a motion sensing thermostat, yes, it is close enough to the bed for 99% of the time that you will keep it going, but if you ever feel your room getting a little warm, you'll have to wave your hand around it. This is Florida. I am from New York, and for me, Florida's pretty much warm most of the time. There were a couple of nights here since we were here in February where things did dip down. So just note, they really give you pretty much like hotel sheets. There's not heavy sheet. So if you get cold very easily, you might want to bring your own fuzzy sheet. Did not use the under storage at all, but do keep in mind that this one sliding panel is just for this side of the bed because on this side of the bed, the space is taken up by the drawers right there. Speaking of, and we're gonna swing around for this one. I kind of 
kind of wish that there was a little more space to put things on. Like I know that we're, and there's a monorail. I know that we are looking to sleep as many people, but with just me and my wife and the amount of stuff we brought, we were kind of like stacking stuff up. It, one, one small thing, so either, oh, second monorail. Uh, more precisely, pack stuff or bring less stuff. I was not a Boy Scout, but was taught to pack like a Boy Scout, so that's probably part of my problem. Uh, the sink and kitchenette area, this is one of the reasons that you get the deluxe version of this room. Sink is always helpful. Coffee maker, also good. You can just use it to heat up water and make yourself some tea. They do have some K-cups for tea. Uh, brought my own stuff anyway. Microwave. Microwave is a plus in any hotel room, and a lot of hotels are doing away with them for some reason. Probably cleaning, you know, but this is great. Always good to have. Likewise with your mini fridge there. Covered what we had in the closet. Pretty good, didn't spend a lot of time in there. Uh, and as we're on our way out, there might be a little mess here and there, uh, but here we go. Coming to the bathroom. This, I undersole greatly. The ability to have one person over here in this section of the bathroom utilizing the facilities while the other person is on the other side showering is super great and a great way to save time in the mornings or a, when you come back from the park, take that respite and then are getting ready to go out into the parks again. For our sliding pocket doors, just so you know, it's this little latch down here. If you grab it, that's how you move the pocket door. Don't grab the bit up there. That's actually the locking mechanism. My one criticism about the loo right there, it is not a soft close lid. Uh, a lot of hotels that I've been in lately have been having soft closed lids, which is great, so you don't have to worry about slamming it in the middle of the night if you happen to go to the bathroom or hearing your neighbor slap, slam it in the middle of the night. Just food for thought, Disney. Maybe soft closed lids when you do a refresh. Uh, sink area, also great. Good lighting. Lots of towels. Garbage can in there. There was a garbage can over in that other one that's a combination recycle, but not terrible. <laughs> but not totally necessary to know that. And then here we have the shower which is a great size for a single person. I like the fact that they have the wand. Speaking of the shower head, so water temperature, good. Just takes a while to get up to a uh, hot, hot, if that's what you like. And then water pressure, also good. Uh, if we come in, I'm gonna do this very quickly, just to point out a few things. So over here for our shower wand, the height is adjustable. If you grab our thing, you can drag it down if you don't want to have it all the way up because you're not a tall person. And then as we swing around over to the bench side right there, uh, right here, I forgot to show this when I was starting. So to operate, you turn this way, so counterclockwise to get your temperature up too hot. And then here, this one changes for your rainfall. Now you might want to do counterclockwise as well, but this one actually does clockwise for the rainfall shower head, which I am getting dripped on in the shower because there was a little water left in there. So hopefully you appreciate that example because, <laughs> because I got dripped on to show you that. There is a little nightlight built into the switch right here, but it's not bright enough to notice at night, which is good because you don't necessarily want that. But speaking of night, down there, there is a little light bleed under there, but because if we come back this way and note where our bed is actually located, your head's over here, you're not really gonna see that. If you need a absolutely dark room to sleep, that's not really gonna bother you because it's far enough away. And then we're gonna come back up to the front here. There's our air conditioner return, and then swing around because that is my thoughts and feelings about a deluxe studio in the villas at Grand Floridian after staying here for a week. There's a lot to like. There's a few things that could be better, but those are just data points for you so that you have an idea of what it will be like to stay here should you choose this hotel for your Disney vacation. If you're looking for a 10 year retrospect of what this room looked like before, make sure to stay until the end of the video and I'll link to my previous review of this hotel room. I've been Wanderer001, happy wandering.